you're a public company and looking for a way to tell your story to millions of online investors. Welcome to Agoracom, North America's largest online investor relations firm. We deliver investor relations through the web's biggest sites and search engines to help you find new investors. In addition to those websites, over 1 million investors read over 95 million pages of news and information on Agoracom this year. Agoracom, where smart public companies and investors click. Good morning. It's Monday, October 20th, and you're watching Agoracom TV and Agoracom TV on GlobeInvestor.com Resource Edition. We've got three stories for you today. My name is Jim Heron. Let's get to them. First, Gravity West reports assay results of massive eliminate surface samples averaging 42.08% uh, titanium oxide and 52.73% iron oxide, totaling 94.81% from the St. Urban Titanium Project. Gravity West is a trades on the Venture Exchange under the symbol GRW, and they are an Agoracom client. Please do your due diligence on this one. They announced that it received surplus samples from its massive ill-minute uh, samples from its St. Urban Titanium Project uh, indicated an average of 42.08% titanium oxide and 52.73% iron oxide with a combined average of 94.81% iron and titanium oxides. Uh, here's a quote from uh, Livio Susan, who is the president of Gravity West. The assay results are exciting and become more prominent when compared to the grades of Rio Tinto's uh, TO mine, as well as hysterical uh, results from the property and other adjacent past producing mines and prospects. Uh, the results suggest the potential of the uh, St. Urbane property as a viable titanium exploration and mining target. Uh, Gravity West uh, last traded at 7.5 cents on Friday, and its range is uh, 38 cents to 4 uh, cents. Its market cap is 4.5 million. Again, they trade on the Venture Exchange of the symbol GRW. They are an Agoracomp client, so please uh, do your due diligence on that one. Going on, we have Boxer Gold Corp. They trade on the Venture Exchange on the symbol BXX. Uh, today, they announced that they have five new zones of copper gold mineralization located. Um, it's located the five new zones of copper mineralization on its 100% owned BOSS project located in no southern Nevada. The five zones occur within the area referred to as the BOSS extension, where continuous channel sampling has returned 2.11% copper, of 0.22 grams per ton of gold, and 26.93 grams per ton of silver over a continuous interval of 13.9 meters. Uh, Boxer Gold is a Canadian junior resource company involved in exploration of three gold and copper uh, projects in the state of Nevada, and they have hosted a gold project located 110 kilometers north of the uh, Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories here in Canada. It last traded at two cents. Its 52-week uh, range is 15 cents to two cents. Market cap of one million. That's again Boxer Gold Corp on the Venture Exchange under the symbol BXX. Our third and final story today is Talon Metals uh, files a NI43101 technical report on its Sao George Gold Project on CEDAR. Tal, uh, Talon Metals uh, trades on the uh, TSX under its symbol TLO and announced that further to its September 4th uh, news release, a uh, NI43101 technical report has now been filed on CEDAR for its company's 100% uh, Sao George Gold Project in the uh, Paris state in Brazil. Uh, they report a mineral resource uh, in the Wilton Zone at South Georgia, 343,000 troy ounces of gold in the indicated mineral resource category, which is uh, 8.334 million tons grading of 1.3 grams per ton of gold using a 0.5 gram per ton of gold cutoff grade. Uh, Talon traded at 27 cents on Friday. Its 52 week range is 87 cents to 21 cents. Its market cap is 7 million. We have no halts for you today, but please check on stockhalts.com uh, for, uh, for your halts during the day. Um, my name is Jim. We'll be back again tomorrow with some more small cap stories. Thanks.